Hey, what's going on guys? Patrick Bryan here. Going over today a quick little uh, process to get you started painting in Photoshop and uh, just by using your scanned images right out of your sketchbook. So uh, I've got a few guys here that I just sort of, sort of doodle and um, let's go ahead and get started here. So the first thing I do is uh, out of my three guys that I'll eventually paint, uh, just some little little characters that I have in my sketchbook, I'm going to start out by with uh, the selection tool just uh, grabbing one of these guys and this is the one I'm gonna choose to paint right now and we're gonna go to edit copy or control C and then we're gonna go and make a new document and it's automatically gonna be sized to the selection that you just copied which is pretty cool and in this case it's about 1800 by 1500 pixels or 6 by 5 inches uh, once we have that made we just go to um, edit paste or control V and we can go ahead and get rid of this guy here and we can go ahead and get ready to get started uh, painting here so uh, I'm gonna change that layer to multiply make a new layer and place it underneath my line art and I'm gonna fill it in with a gray here and we're painting this whole thing in grayscale so uh, just fill it in with a gray and then um, make a new layer on top this is the layer that we're gonna be painting on and what I'll do right now is just make a quick little swatch. I'm going to keep it really limited, uh, sort of a darker gray. I don't use 100% black or white, and I'll show you why in a little bit here later. But um, just starting out with a quick little swatch. That's it. I'll use the background as a gray, a lighter gray, and a dark one. So from here, I'm just going to start out just by, you know, just filling in some sort of drawing and filling in some areas of what this guy's going to be wearing. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure yet and just kind of just goofing around just similar to a sketch just um, just put my pen to the tablet and just get it moving uh, just so I can get an idea of what I'm going to be doing with this guy and you know with a layer on top you know if I don't like it then I can just of course easily erase it so um, this process is uh, quick just to jump into as you can see there's not a lot of technical things that I did you know other than changing the layer to multiply I just want to get in here and just start painting right away and this is a good way if you've gotten to the point where um, you're not quite comfortable drawing in Photoshop because that does take a little bit of practice um, and you just enjoy or like the drawings that you do in your sketch pad you know once you have it scanned in just use this as practice just to start paint just to get yourself start painting and just getting used to the process of you know what your how your brushes are going to react and what it feels like so um, it's a great way this is sort of how I started um, when I first started painting so right here I'm using the uh, the dodge tool just to sort of lighten in some areas and give myself uh, just some volume to the shapes that I've made uh, I've kind of added a little cane on this back or whatever and just adding in some little areas where I'm going to get some light and with the the dodge and burn tool are great when you're working in grayscale uh, it's just a quick way to add some light to an area and just to give myself like I said a sense of you know what uh, which areas are going to be catching some of the light and I'll add some little atmosphere or something in the background a little bit later so uh, once I have that I go back to painting and um, I'll go over the brushes that I'm going to use that I'm using throughout this process I'll go over that here in a little bit in the video so um, like I was saying it's just um, it's a great way to just jump right in and just start painting and this doesn't I can take this as far as I want I can get as detailed as I want um, you know depending on how much time you want to spend on it uh, for this exercise I kinda wanna keep this give it sort of a concept art look and feel so I'm not gonna get super tight with the rendering I'll probably leave it in grayscale um, if I decide to add some color to it I'll make another video for you and um, probably use like an overlay or a color layer to add some color to it so uh, let's see here so in a minute I'll start going over my brushes so for the skin area for at this stage I like to use sort of a softer airbrush type of brush just to give myself a different feel of a texture uh, from the uh, clothing that he has on this type of robe or ripped clothes that he has on so for the skin areas that are showing I'll start out by using a it's kind of a similar to my paintbrush that I use mainly but it's a, a sort of an airbrush to it so I made this just by taking the airbrush and making it smaller 
and as we look in my uh, brush settings the um, airbrush and smoothing are checked on and opacity and flow jitter are set to uh, pin pressure uh, for the brush that I use just to kind of block in everything it's the basic hard round brush there's no settings to it there's no um, you know nothing no no pin pressure set on the uh, opacity and flow it's just gonna just block in huge shapes really quickly for me and um, that's great just to kind of get things started to work in the silhouette of the clothing that this guy is wearing the items and whatnot so um, and right here uh, this is the main brush I use all the time and this is my paint brush essentially so the opacity and flow are set to pin pressure smoothing is on and this is my hard round paint brush that I use and I just basically use the alt key to select uh, different colors just to uh, start mixing and like I said this is my painting brush and that's mainly the three brushes that I use just about all the time um, nothing too complicated and you know I've gone through the process of experimenting with different things but essentially it comes down to just one main brush that I paint throughout and I'll, I'll use this brush to go over those uh, areas where I had the airbrush on the skin just to kind of give it a more painted look and to um, straighten out some of the edges so I'm skipping the video ahead here um, you know just going over um, a little bit here of uh, some background sort of some atmosphere so I grab a little random texture brush that I have and just to add some little atmosphere to this guy I mean at this point I kinda I'm gonna stick to the design of you know the clothing that I've added some of the items some of the trinkets and at this point it's like okay I can go ahead and move ahead and I'm gonna add um, in just a little bit of background a little bit of lighting and stuff like that and I'm gonna at the same time keep it rough and at this point um, like I said um, I'm happy with the direction that it's going so what I'm eventually gonna do here is just flatten or merge all the layers down flatten the image and just uh, continue painting and working on it so uh, that first initial layer that's on top you know it's kinda there to experiment you know if I wanna add if I didn't like what I had on you know what I added to the guy uh, you know if I wanted to add some armor or feathers or whatever the case may be just a different type of outfit that the guy is wearing then that layer there is you know it's basically just to experiment so I'm gonna select all the layers and I'm going to flatten the image and from here just continue painting my guy and I'm also up uh, uh, real quick here I'm gonna resize the image because now remember we started out it was only about six by five inches so I'm just gonna double the size go up to about ten and make sure that the um, scale styles constrain proportions all those little check boxes are on so I just leave that there so from here I can get a little bit more detailed with the areas around the face and uh, continue on and the reason why I blow it up is because I don't like to paint when my brush gets any gets below 10 pixels um, I like the, the bigger the brush you have the better um, and blowing the image up allows me to do that now I can just go in and start adding more detail to the face it's a lot easier um, a brush size here is about 10 or 9 that's about as small as I want to go but these little tight areas here with these wrinkles around the face you know it's good for that so um, if I wanted this image to go even further if I was going to add color if I really want to clean this up you know past that stage of being sort of a concept art looking sketch type of painting I would uh, blow this up again to about probably about 16 inches in height and that's usually big enough to get some real nice details into an image so um, blowing it up from 5 to 10 here in this area makes it just easier here to paint you know paint in the teeth little wrinkles around his mouth he's got a little I think a little piercing on his lip so it just makes it a little bit easier to paint so um, this is a fun quick way to just start painting um, if you you know like I said are a lot more comfortable with drawing in your sketchbook no problem you know eventually you're gonna work your way up to you know drawing and painting really tight renderings right in Photoshop but until you get to that point no problem 
and you know there's not a lot of you know I didn't as you can see didn't go through a lot of technical things as far as like adjusting layers and whatnot it's just get the image in there get to painting as fast as possible and just see what happens with your brush and you know you at the in the end you know you still have your sketch and this gives you a great opportunity to just experiment so um, and also once you reach this point I mean I can still add some things in I wasn't sure when I just did the quick doodle if I was gonna have any ears or what type of ears I was gonna draw on them so I'm just gonna paint one in now so that's the great thing about Photoshop is that you once you get to use used to painting you know you sort of draw and paint at the same time start adding some things in painting some things out whatever making some changes and just add a little goofy ear and this creepy guy whatever he is so um, I usually don't like to draw any character that's like a Cyclops type of character I've always hated it <laughs> and I uh, always thought it was corny but I just figured, you know what, I'm just going to goof around and maybe draw a few of these guys and see if I like one. So this is just some type of creepy, I don't know, magician, warlock, some type of dark magic using type of dude. And he's got this one eye. So just something to play with. I mean, sometimes I'll doodle in my sketchbook anything. And I'll just, it's, in the end, I mean, I'm always going to be more comfortable with drawing in my sketchbook. I mean, that's just the way I grew up, that's the way I did it, you know, years ago when I started paint, you know, drawing and everything, when Photoshop wasn't all the rage back in the day, you know, I was comfortable just drawing in my sketchbook, and I still do, and I enjoy it, and sometimes, you know, I sketch things really small, and I know I can take it into Photoshop and blow it up and start with something like this. This is just a quick little concept type of sketch drawing, and this keeps me, you know, if there's times where you know I don't even want the pressure of doing some 10 12 hour type of painting you know this is always fun just to jump in and just take a sketch or a quick doodle out of my sketch pad throw it in here and let's just start painting um, so and sometimes your concept sketches your concept paintings are always gonna have um, you know they can still be very appealing you know um, I know for me I like to look at sketchbooks that's always my favorite thing to do is look at you know, other people's sketchbooks and to sketch myself there's always something about them that's pretty cool and with concept art type paintings now that we see them on the web all the time and everywhere there's something cool about it there's something that you know the rough edges you know kind of the messy look there's something cool about that and it's very relaxing it's a lot of fun to do and I enjoy it just to just do something really quick and you know a lot of you know potential jobs can be had that way I um, this past summer I had someone contact me I got a job designing some artwork uh, for a video game and they basically had fallen in love with a speed painting that I did on my website and I was like okay they were just like oh this is just so cool how long did this take you how long did you spend on it and it was something that I didn't spend more than an hour on and you know it's just one of those things where you know maybe it just had an appeal to it it just had a look that they thought was cool so you know, concept type of paintings are fun, they're quick and easy to do. Like I said, there's not a lot of pressure to them, and they're a lot of fun, and who knows what it could lead to. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was like, this is the guy you like, and all this stuff. They're like, yeah, you know, then, you know, they looked at all my other work and everything, and you're like, yeah, these are cool too, but I based a lot of the designs of the characters and creatures that I did based off of one speed painting I did, so you never know. <laughs> you never know so um, hopefully this video is just something that you guys can take a look at and just say hey you know what I don't have to get caught up in you know all of the technical preparation of getting an image done um, it's just really quick scanning an image change it to multiply throw a layer below fill it with gray throw a layer on top and just start painting and if I, I can, you know, this thing, you know, I didn't spend a lot of time on, you know, I know I fast forwarded through the video a little bit as far as the painting goes, but it's just something that's very relaxing, a lot of fun, and uh, something I suggest you guys do. It, uh, it's great to get going to, um, just to get, just to get yourself painting, to get used to Photoshop if you're just starting out, 
and if you've already been sort of messing around with Photoshop, you know, it's a great way to just keep doing things that you've done in your sketchbook. I mean, my sketchbook is always going to be my favorite. Uh, no matter what, I draw a lot in Photoshop. I use Sketchbook Pro and all that stuff. But drawing in my sketchbook is one of the things that always just feels the best. So hopefully you guys will um, just give this a try and um, and just uh, keep painting. And the more you paint, the better you get. Like I said, it's something that the more you can spend as much time or as little time on a guy like this as you want. And that's great. So I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I do add color to it, I'll make a new one and I'll post the final image uh, in the link. If it's not out by the time this video is completed, um, I'll be sure to uh, let you guys know or just stop by my website and check it out. So uh, be sure to like the video. I'd appreciate it. And you guys have a good one.